Well, let's talk about that holiday travel rush expected to be the busiest ever with more than 100 million people flying to their holiday destinations. It comes after a powerful storm upended early travel plans for thousands in the Northeast with the West Coast now bracing for two storm systems ahead of Christmas. ABC's Morgan Norwood shares how officials are preparing. With more than 131 million Americans set to take off during the holiday travel rush, officials pleading with passengers to be patient. We have already screened a record number of passengers across the nation this year, and this Christmas end of year holiday season is looking to be the busiest we've had in a very, very long time, if not the busiest ever. From coast to coast, TSA says they'll screen close to 2.5 million passengers per day. We will be fully staffed for the holiday. We have high confidence. Uh, that will be able to handle this volume. It comes as the pre-holiday travel crush got off to a rocky start after a powerful and deadly storm lashed the Northeast with heavy rain, flooding, and for parts of the Midwest, lake effect snow. I actually got delayed yesterday and missed my connection flight due to weather. It snowed in Cincinnati. And while that storm has since moved out, another system is threatening holiday travel down the road. The West Coast bracing for a one-two punch of heavy rain. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says his department is working closely with airlines to prepare. We get down to the minute weather predictions from National Weather Service meteorologists and use those to inform exact arrival and departure routes across the busiest parts of the U.S. airspace. And Expedia says today is the best day to fly. It's also the cheapest. The busiest travel day is this Thursday. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.